Hello, magicians, and welcome now to Wednesday. Well, sunny and pensive is my prediction today for the Pisces, the magic makers of the Zodiac. The moon is in a water sign just like you, Scorpio, so I think you're feeling more grounded than usual. It's always nice when the moon comes in and takes over the emotional management of the planet. What it means for you is for one day further, you'll be doing some emotional learning. You'll be looking at your beliefs, finding out what you're passionate about, what you're not passionate about, and you might likely fall into a very passionate argument or philosophical discussion about what you believe in or don't believe in. Then since we're on the sun, we're still in chapter one of Sun and Leo. The topic today is Venus. Now in chapter one, remember, we are working on what's not working when it comes to your connection to your body, what connection to your lifestyle. So maybe a long commute is not working for you. Maybe working in a small cubicle with no sunlight is not working for you. Maybe being obese is not working for you. And when Venus rules a day in chapter one, the best thing to do is to heal yourself, to forgive, to show compassion. So it's okay what's wrong with your life. It's okay. We can fix it. We like cast our own reality. So use the Venus vibration today to just heal yourself and be okay with what's wrong because we will be working on it in chapter two and chapter three. Then speaking of Venus, Venus itself is getting ready to hop over the border into the next sign, but before it does, it's time to make some creative decisions. That's what Venus is about creating. Now the topic of where Venus is, is your home, family, and foundation. So the question I pose to you is, what type of home, family, or self-mothering do you want to create in the next year? What do you want to create? Tell Venus what you want. Venus is there to deliver. All right, Pisces, that's all I have for the day. I'll see you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So